Now here, let us solve some very simple problems based on vertically opposite angles. The question goes like this. In the given figure, lines L1 and L2 intersect at O. Forming angles as shown. A, B, C and D. Now if A is 35 degrees, find the values of B, C and D. These are the lines L1 and L2 intersecting at a point O. This is the point O. These form vertically opposite angles. Angle A equals angle C and angle E equals angle D. So we already have angle A is equal to 35 degrees. So therefore, C is also equal to 35 degrees. You just have to write in the brackets vertically opposite angles. Now, you know these two angles, that is 35 and 35. You also know that the total angle around a point is 360 degrees. And you also know that B equals D. So, just subtract 35 and 35 from 360, which is nothing but 360 degrees minus 70 degrees. That is equal to 290 degrees. So, now, B and D sum up to 290 degrees. Angle B plus angle D equals 290 degrees. And they are also equal. So let us replace them by the other. So I'll take angle D as angle B then. B is equal to 290 degrees. 2 times angle B equals 290 degrees. So angle B equals 290 degrees divided by 2, which is nothing but. 145 degrees. Angle B equals 145 degrees. So since angle B equals 145 degrees, angle D is also equal to 145 degrees. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. One more way which by which you can solve this problem, I'll just quickly tell it to you. Now, this is a straight line. You know what I'm coming to, right? This line O L1 lies on this line L2. So therefore, these two form the linear pair. So if this is 35, 35 plus this should be equal to 180. So you can do 180 minus 35 and get B. So you can do that or you can do what I did just now. So let us also see another very similar problem as easy as this. So here we have in the given figure, lines L1 and L2 to intersect at O again, forming angles as shown. Now, if x equals 45 degrees, find the values of y, z and u. So, this is the point O. Angle x is also equal to 45 degrees. Because vertically opposite angles, z is 45 degrees. Because vertically opposite angles. So now, total is 360. We already have 90 here. So what is left over? 360 minus 90, which is 270 degrees. So split 270 equally among y and u, which is 270 divided by 2, 135 degrees. This is 135. This is 135. Angle y equals angle u because of vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle y plus angle u equals 270 degrees. Here it is. Why 270? Because 45 and 45 goes out of 360. So now these are equal. So let me write angle y as angle u. So angle u plus angle u equals 270. Angle u plus angle u is 2 angle u which is equal to 270. Angle U is 270 by 2, which is 135 degrees, and angle U is 135. So, if angle U is 135, angle Y is also 135, because vertically opposite angles.